Hey guys, free pick time. All right, back with another free play. Uh, we got another winner yesterday, guys. Pretty easy win. I told you that game looked like a trap line early on, and it certainly was. We are now 89 wins and 52 losses on the year. Absolutely crushing it, guys. I was this close to not doing a video today. Um, I consider myself a man of principles, and I said yesterday, let's get that video to 500 likes. We got 497. So um, I'm not going to be a stickler over three likes, but we got enough views to get it. So let's get today's video to 500 likes. Okay, hit that like button. I'll give you a second. All right, there we go. Um, got a busy day today, guys. We got um, probably my favorite CFL play of the year. Uh, not only in Masterclass did I give out this play, we got two different plays on this CFL um, bet. These particular uh, circumstances here, I got an indicator um, comes in at 73 and 81 percent 73 and 81 percent when do you see that in sports you don't except for in the cfl where vegas line makers have no clue what they're doing they're way off on this one guys uh cfl plays three wnba five major league pardon me six major league baseball and um three player props as well if you're interested benderwins.com guys it's 99 dollars a month gets you my full card every single day um, I keep saying it and people who have, haven't done it yet, cost yourself money because we're, we're winning. So, um, today guys, uh, I'm going to do a breakdown of this play. I just want to say about yesterday's play. Look, I said, I came out, I said, Chicago, Cleveland people in such a huge rush. Some people went about the Cubs game. Um, I said Chicago, Cleveland eight times. Okay. The difference between like professional and amateur sports betters, guys, professionals are going to take that information, um, they're going to be calm. They're going to be collected. Amateur sports bettors, like literally they hear a word and they just run off and it's like, do it right. And same thing when you're looking at like live lines and totals, um, amateur sports bettors. Okay. You see something happen and it's like you react to it instantly. Okay. Professional sports bettors are going to take a second to analyze that information. Um, make an informed decision. Why? Because we don't have FOMO. We do not have fear of missing out. If we lose out on a live line because we're doing our due diligence and making a proper decision, so be it. Another one comes along. Take the time, guys. Listen to the videos, okay? They're like three, four minutes a day. Um, we're hitting like 63%. You can afford You can afford the time. Trust me, okay? Um, on that note, today's going to be a little bit of a longer video because I'm going to do a breakdown of today's play. So we got a couple plays in this game. I'm going to give you one of them, guys. Um, Colorado, San Diego, over six first five innings okay first five innings over six sounds like a pretty tall order right we got to get seven runs in the first six innings um can we do it i think so and here's why all right first and foremost guys let's talk hitting conditions here absolutely perfect hitting conditions here um expectation we should see about 14 to 16 percent increase in home run at Coors field today a decrease in strikeouts about five six percent Increase in extra base hits anywhere from 13 to 17%, equating to about 14% more runs than usual. 14% is a significant, significant amount. Um, this is optimal conditions for hitting, okay? This, in terms of like all the ballparks today, obviously, Coors Field ranks number one. It is optimal conditions, okay? We got a nice, uh, nice hot day, ball travel, um, humidity of 13%. I mean, when they hit that ball, see you later, right? Uh, let's talk about the pitching matchup, okay? Um, Snell, okay, the guy gets strikeouts. Going to be challenging today. There's not going to be a lot of ball movement, okay? And that's what he relies on is ball movement. What we have is a lefty-lefty matchup today, okay? Normally, lefty-lefty matchups do favor the under a little bit, okay? Traditionally, around 54% of the time, these games go under. However, um, Colorado Rockies absolutely love, love, teeing off on lefties uh they've got 288 versus lefties they also hit 283 at home now what about san diego san diego prefers lefties as well batting 245 seven points better than their right-handed hitter better slugging percentage but you say okay well you know what i mean they obviously hit better at home right no they don't they hit better on the road we have good conditions here atmospheric we have good pitching matchup um i love the way that I'm not going to say which lineup because I have another play in this game. I love the way one of these lineups matches up against a pitcher, especially they could get seven on their own in the first five innings. So that is the play today, guys. Benderwins.com for the full card. Let's get those 500 likes and um, best of luck.